Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a low poly dog inside of Blender. Let's go. So yeah, I'm over in Blender. I already have a image in my scene. I just found this by searching like dog side view. I'll have it linked down below if you want to copy uh, with the same image. First off, what we got to do is just add in a cube. So if we go add mesh cube. So I'm going to go into add mode with tab and then just control R and add an edge loop and then select the left face. Let's so go X vertices. Uh, so now we only have the right side and we can mirror it over, which saves a lot of time. So we're going to go add modifier and go mirror. Okay, and then turn on clipping so it doesn't like keep on stopping in the middle. We can go to uh, side view and then just go to wireframe as well. And then we can just start dragging and getting the general shape of our dog. If we just get like the torso, I usually like to grab in between like the back and the front legs. And then I usually add like another edge loop depending on like if it has like a stomach or not. You could push it like this, you could push it up uh, depending on how you want your dog to look. And then usually bring it down a bit because that will kind of go up for like the shoulder blades uh, like that. And then I'm going to select the back and it's going to go extrude out. If you have clipping on, it will actually work properly and won't pull away from the middle. Uh, but if you don't have clipping on, it might mess up your model. So here, if I start shaping it to like the end, we can add the tail in later. Uh, but for now, this works fine. So like the front part, extrude up. So sometimes you can do like there and like here, and then we will kind of like extrude down. And then we can select this, extrude further up the neck. You can just add edge loops if you want to use it, like make it more better for animation or something like that. Okay, and then you can see if we go move around, you can see it's very thick. Uh, not at all what a dog would look like. So we can drag this in. And then here is going to be where like the stomach area is. So sometimes you can either take like the stomach area in like that. So like there and then there and then drag this one back, which kind of works. Or you could have the opposite where the, the stomach bulges out and then like it's less than there. Uh, it's up to you. Kind of just go see what it looks like. And there we go. So we have just some bit of like dynamic curves or whatever in our character. And also brought this back. So it's a more of an angle. And then what I'm just going to do to make it look even better is we could just select this edge or actually just grab the top one first and then just G to us to drag it down just to round it out a bit. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one because this is kind of like the shoulder blade over here and just bring it up. So it's kind of like flatter here compared to the rest of it. And then we can do the same thing for here. We could even like drag up some of these parts uh, depending because we're going to still add in like the legs and stuff. Uh, but yeah, the neck you would want to round out as well. Uh, but stuff where the actual like legs are gonna come out of, you might not want to rotate, uh, like bring them up as much. So legs, you can either just do it like you extrude these down, or you could just add an edge loop in the middle like that, and then you can like round it out a bit, and then have like a separate uh, separation. Uh, but actually, I kind of like it just like this. So I'm just gonna select these two and make two of those into legs. So I'm just gonna turn clipping off because if we have clipping on and we extrude down, you can see it sticks to the middle, which we don't really want. So I'm gonna turn clipping off as I extrude down. So you can see now it's separated like this, and then we can scale it down, kind of get the shape of the leg. So I think when uh, you were talking about dogs, it's usually you kind of have like it goes back slightly, then goes down like that and then goes so it kind of goes like this is the upper like the upper body and then it goes backwards like that so it's like yeah here, here, here and then forward so sometimes i drag that out you could add like an edge loop in the middle of here like, like scale it down or something um here you could just do the same thing here just round it out and then i usually just go extrude and then wire like there and then just drag this back for the paw and then you can see the legs look a bit weird so sometimes you can scale it up or just think about like where the thickest parts of the legs would actually be. So like here, or what you could also do is just go add like another edge loop in the middle and then just like round it out a bit, um, which can also be quite nice or just go like use loop tools and circle. And then you could also start working more on the upper body then I guess if we have a bit more resolution. So here, Okay, so loop tools is just a very good add-on um, for things. So just go like loop tools and then circle. You can also find it in the raft to go edit loop tools and just have it over there. So like this is something that we would have to do and clip it back on. So we get it to work. And then I kind of want to just bring that up a bit, make it look a bit more like an actual dog around an angle. So scale these down slightly. It makes them slightly bigger when you round it out. And then, okay, we haven't selected properly, just says circle. So we start selecting all the edges and circle on them. Oh, not the bottom ones. We can sort that out. Scale them down. And then the paw, we can just scale that down. Scale these two down. 
we could even get rid of an edge like this or leave it for now it's fine cool that looks pretty good so let's do the same thing for the back leg i guess let's do the same thing just go add an a edge loop already um and then just get a good starting piece so turn clipping off and then just go extrude down and then i'm going to do the same thing loop tool circle and then let's take it down to this joint over here and let's go e and z s z zero just to make it flat uh, so just scaling on the z by zero let's get it down a bit and then in the middle i'm going to add another edge loop control r scale this down and then over here we got to add a, another edge loop loop tools circle move it forward scale it down over here same thing scale down and there so it's going out a bit so we could probably fix this a bit and i think this edge needs to come out so we can drag this and make that wider and then some of these parts might need to be slightly thicker i'm going to turn clipping back on as well just to make life a bit easier uh, and some of these i'm just going to go scale and shift z to make it a bit thicker so there i'm actually going to drag this forward so i can turn on proportional editing at the top of here and let's go g and y just drag it forward slightly just so it isn't as far back and yeah i think it looks quite nice then uh we can do just here we could also the other way to do pause is to just drag it down and then if you only have the same heart if you at the top changes to vertex let's go g z uh, turn on proportional editing as well g z and hold control over here it will snap to the exact same heart so they're all like on a flat plane um and then you could just like just go extrude out like this and then turn this into the pore so you might have to mess around with the scales or some things but yeah that's the other way to make a pore okay cool so once we have that then we can just go carry on a bit with the neck so i'm just gonna actually just drag these in a bit uh and then yeah let's carry on with well actually the head now yeah so the head this just extrude this out and then the head what i'll usually do is i'll have to actually bring this further up like here and then here so i'm going to take it just above the art level like that and then when i do that is i can start shaping head so trying to get the animal's head to look right is pretty hard sometimes so you kind of just have to play around with like proportions and the shape of it uh looking at reference to kind of see what it looks like on different angles but yeah i think yeah let's just take this so i'm kind of just extruding it out just trying to mess around with the shape of it same thing for the bottom i'm just gonna have to drag this down for like the jaw or muzzle or whatever it's called cool uh there gonna have to add another edge loop like that and then we can just join these together and then join like that which looks a bit square so you could you could add like another edge loop into your character if you want or just add like add some extra edge loops like trying to just kind of add like an extra loop coming up or something like that or just add an edge, edge loop like this to round out the whole like face um but yeah animal faces can be sometimes quite hard to get um but something that uh, like makes it look a lot better quite a lot at the time is just adding in like the ears so usually how to add in the ears is i might actually do it over this so i'm going to go with the knife tool so just press k and then just go there here and then there 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 okay and then actually i'm going to go i'm just going to go delete these edges just dissolve edges and have it over here and you can kind of just like dissolve the edges in somehow kind of up to you or just go and just select here and inset it and then you can get like space for the ear so when you have this you can see use this to round out the head a bit but when you have this you can just go extrude out and this is like the start of the ear so this dog has a very like floppy ear so you might want to do something like this let me select the top two and like take it over and then take it down okay the might not look great now but it will look great later so let's take this here and then round it out for like an ear shape so if we take the look at the shape of it kind of like goes quite wide like that cool the head looks kind of low now so let's bring the ears up we bevel them as well we'll just add another edge loop so you might also just have to take these edges like up back here to kind of just give like a little ridge to kind of show that there's actually some thickness to the ear okay and then here and then maybe just take this back up a bit yeah i think it looks kind of cool um i think i'm going to take this nozzle down the uh, muzzle down a bit um maybe make it a bit wider yeah it's looking pretty good for the dog you could also change the ears to be pointing up so if we use like the same thing uh we can just go 
delete this, just take the edge up like this and like drag it down. It kind of just makes a good like pointing up for the ear. And then add like an edge loop if you want to like round it out. I just look at like how block ears usually look like. And I'd usually just do finish it off and make it look good. Just scale this down. Um, or actually, I think I need to take this, duplicate it. And then that means that it won't like mess up the normals if you take it into like something like a game or something. Like this and then F to fill. And then now we can kind of join it in. So here, here, or there. So make this face. And then if we join like this and there, we'll fill in and make the ear shape. Um, and then for the tail, all we gotta do is select this same thing. We can, or we can either just extrude it straight out and then just kind of make it like very small, um, like there, and then kind of work from there for the tail. Um, and then just ex and extrude it down, or just like insert it. So start kind of just working with the shape. At the top is gonna be a part that like goes from there, so it goes out, and then here rotate. And at the end, you might want to just end it off with like a flat point over there. Yeah, and I think that looks pretty good. Cool. If you enjoyed this video, click over here for another video that you might like. Cheers.